We're live! <laughs> Hello! Yeah. Let me double check. As Audio. you can see, I have a guest. Is good. Who yes. wants to spend the day with us? So we, fan we found him on the street. Boys. The streets of my house. Oh, we can kill him. This is my puppy Fenrir, who's not so much of a puppy. <laughs> he brushes his teeth. Oh. Okay, buddy. <laughs> Don't lick my ear. <laughs> Hi, buddy. I love you, huh? I know. He's okay. actually just for show fight for the day. <laughs> He's, He's doing, doing it for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing this really for the camera. But a little bit. This is fucked up, buddy. He's just like all cute and stuff for the camera. I He's know. Amazing. I know, buddy. I'm You're a good bad. boy. Okay, go on. Go on, buddy. Good boy. Dude, that was my dog, Fender. Um, welcome. Welcome in to the <laughs> couch cooperative. Uh, we are back with our 5th edition's Dungeons & Dragons full-length campaign as we journey through the adventure of Storm King's Thunder. We don't have any uh, stream announcements. Uh, we do know that there is an upcoming holiday this weekend with Easter on the rise. Um, and our audience... Is it really uh, coming up? It is. This is Sunday. This is the coming Sunday. And I know that with Easter, there are people who will spend the time to celebrate for faith and people that will celebrate for family. Whatever you choose to do on a ho on the holiday of Easter, please just spend time with your family. Uh, be grateful um, and be safe. So I hope you have a great weekend moving forward. But we have no stream announcements. That being said, without anything else to announce, no. Wait, wait, wait. Atro, you have a full size replica of Tensa Zangetsu? Bro. He does. I did tell him that you would like that. I. We had a guy We had a guy in my stream who was t talking about he has Bro, that's three sick, bladesmith dude. replicas of swords, the uh, Buster right. Sword being one of them. And then he mentioned that he had that. And I said, You were a big bleach guy i am dude i am i have um oh shit i don't know i want to see a picture We're of nerds it. i want to see a yeah, picture of it <laughs> yes sir <laughs> jesus christ bro what? holy shit it's 70 inches long that's what is that that's six and average. a half feet that's average no a little less than six a little less than six feet but that's crazy <laughs> oh my god <laughs> you say that's average see, you oh don't, god you don't know you don't know. I casted large. I want to see That's that. why I'm going to the Philippines for a wife. <laughs> what? We'll see you on We'll see you on TMZ, bro. <laughs> Shout us out, dude. Get us into Hollywood. <laughs> on this week of that's, that's, the Couch Cooperative. I think that's it for our announcements. Yeah. <laughs> but that's sick, bro. I want to see it. I want to see it. That's awesome. Holy hell. Oh my god, 70 inches. And then I also want to know what you think of Thousand Year Blood War Art. Because. Yeah. Alright, alright, we're trying to play a game here. Alright, can you stop fucking flirting? It's with slapping, our bro. Listen, it's you slapping. have a girlfriend, bro. Stop flirting with our fucking guest. <laughs> he is emotionally stimulated. Okay. <laughs> Without further ado, we will go ahead and begin. So. What's the timestamp? Right now, for the stream or actual time? The stream. The stream, we are 12 minutes in. YouTube's a fun thing. I've decided to start taking notes of when I need to make edits so I can cut out any unnecessary stuff. Hey, 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 why hey, would hey, you hey, ever hey, have to cut <laughs> anything out, Ethan? Yeah, nothing about bleach is unnecessary. Reason. Ever. I would say an, an elongated ramble is unnecessary. Wait, is something else? There's a lot of things. Um, and so we begin. Boom. Last we left off, our band of humble adventurers, the Peacekeepers. Humble? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> our band of morally questionable adventurers, <laughs> the also titularly questionable, the Peacekeepers, um, assembled into the a cavern network located... Uh, a mile away from the town of Night Zone in hopes of saving the villagers that were yet alive yet captured uh, by goblins. You had spent some time searching the tunnel net. Well, Neff has spent some time searching the tunnel network uh, under the guise of an invisibility uh, illusion and was able to acquire a chance. 
a chest of a variety of different goods um, that you hurried out of the cavern with while the current occupants of the ogres were beginning to cook some of these survivors, starting with a dwarf, the proprietor of the tavern back in Night Zone. Now, fortunately, you had just enough time to be able to go in, cause a ruckus, and save all the villagers. Yeah. Despite the dwarven uh, the tavern keep suffering a bit of second degree burns from um, being held over an open flame for quite a while. We should have let the insightful ones die so that they didn't figure this out. That's Leaving a, an interesting perspective uh, on the efficacy of the Peacekeeper's mercenary outfit, the Village of Nightstone, um, sending you with mixed response, you ascended the Tower of Zephyros, a, a cloud giant, a mystic, a friendly cloud giant. A mystic, a diviner, an eccentric, <laughs> old, wizened uh, man. Sounds like someone I know. Who had sought you out, Me. said he had been communing with the clouds. The clouds brought him to Nightstone to seek you. His job is to act something akin to a ferryman, to transport you. You decided to ascend the cloud steps to get onto the tower to see <coughs> what this giant has to offer. Get more out of you, buddy. Get you right away. <laughs> this sounded like a mafioso bot. <laughs> he knows. I mean, he got quiet. Hey. We're gonna take a quick break. <laughs> no puppos were harmed in the production of this stream. Gulag, gulag, Flash that gulag, disclaimer now. Gulag, no forced labor. No okay. forced whoa, labor. Whoa, whoa. I'm on censor right now, baby. Yeah, I'm gonna go do up. <laughs> <laughs> <It is. laughs> what? <laughs> dude. I was just I was shouting, I'm uncensored, baby. Oh my god. Sorry, sorry. Meteors start falling from the sky. No. Uh, and that's where we begin. Again. <laughs> you the the four of you having climbed hundreds of feet of clouded stairs ascend into the heavens. You see the horizon of the land surrounding Nightstone like a painting with verdant forests and open plains, some busy highways, uh, well, travel ways. You see the city of Waterdeep in the far distance. You see mountains and you can see the sea off to the west. Ferris, the, the wind up here is stale. To a degree, it's not. It's it's not as vibrant. It's not as there's not a movement to it. The breath of of the gods doesn't feel present. And yet, as you step further and further uh, onto the clouds, um, you can't help but feel a relation to to creation, yet a creation that's been not perverted, expanded on, and to kind of crest what the gods allowed their creations to be able to do to even get to the point of living amongst the stars. Uh, it's a very, it's a very uh, unnatural experience for Varus, despite your 700 and near 30 years of life that's been behind you, you've not once had a moment like this. Poultra, you are a, a long ways from ground, um, and you know that the inhabitants of the air, though in need of justice they may be, are not going to be the easiest for you to fight. In fact, being in, in a oh, yeah. space like this makes you feel a oh, yeah. vulnerability to a degree 
Um, however, Poultra decides to feel that to the to the weight of it, but you can't help but feeling like alien, almost foreign to this this scope. Misery, you don't have that problem because um, you don't have to worry about distance, about range. In fact, the sights alone, you could say, inspire the eagerness to like try out a couple long range shot, see just how well you can pump these firearms to to, to go. Um, and for Nephis, there there's a distinct difference between the ground that you step upon. It's not laden with soil, which means that nothing died to give this ground life. It's a cloud. The cloud is made of matter. The matter is water in the mixture of different, you know, with, with rain droplets and, and other um, natural element components that form the body of the cloud. Um, Does this seem magical? Oh, easily. Oh, easily seems magical. But the, the natural nature of the floor that you stand upon, just being a solid cloud, it feels different from having earth under your feet where you know that life passes to bring about the nature of new life. That you can't have that cycle without having a soil that benefits from the manure, the fertilization of soil. Can Nephis ask a question about the cloud? You don't need my question asked. You don't need my permission to ask that question. You may. Um. Are, 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 are all clouds like this? Are they asking that too, Zephyros? Yeah. The old cloud giant kind of looks down at you and goes, No, no, not all clouds are like this. Hmm. Well, why can this carry uh, a castle? That's a very good question. Very, very good question. Small one, you have not expanded to the sights of the All Father and the gifts that he has granted amongst his many children, one of which is life amongst the clouds. It is why my folk are given their name. What's the name of the All Father? He is known by many. I think your small folk translation would come to be a nom. Can I make a religion check? You may fully attempt to make a religion check. Can I roll a history check? You may also roll a history check. You said we call him what? The All Father. The common translation would be a nom. A N A M. A N N A M. A N N A M. A nom. I got a 19. Mom. A 19. There's not much historically known about Anam. However, um, oof. the the context of the All Father oof. seems to be reasonable as the the what is on a surface level what is roughly known about giant kin is that they structure themselves very very patriarchally, and so having a uh, a lot of kings, they do have a lot of kings, a lot of chieftains um, who tend to exert the most power. And through that power, they secure their right to rule. And so having a chief god amongst them would kind of fit how that structure comes to kind of pass down and instills potentially. I got a five. Five. Um, you've never heard of this god. Not even in passing. So this is a new god for you. I'm, I'm going to also roll team. a religion check because I have proficiency in it. You may. That's fucking 11. Yeah, what is known about him even in history is sp is scarce, let alone the religious nature of how the giants worship him. Can I history check? You may attempt to. Okay. No scarce. I roll a 19, so. Does history count as like me trying to remember it in the past? I will allow it for your sake. <laughs> you old mother. Because you're 730 years old. Maybe I heard it at a bar. <laughs> That's not what you sound like. 620 years ago. Maybe I heard it while drinking gin. Wait, 
I but didn't I didn't pay for the gin. <laughs> Wait, this is. You're gonna kind of be some funny overlap because I just realized. He's a 15. If he's 730 years old, then he heard stories about our last campaign, right? No, I was there. You all, yeah, you all were alive. It happened two years ago. Oh shit. The issue was it wasn't yeah, happening so in a region that you were active in, so you know very little about it. I don't know why it. I thought there was more time. Um, the the and this was a history roll. History, yeah. Yeah, the giants have kept to themselves. Uh, almost all throughout history, the random um, encounters that humans have had with giants tend to be in the Savage Frontier. They tend to revolve around hill giants and frost giants. Um, you don't know why. You don't know any rhyme, reason, or, or know how. That just tends to be what history, what you've experienced throughout your lifetime. The stories you've heard. But nothing of anything further. Um... So, um, uh, did you make this cloud? Yes, I, I did quite make the cloud, um, and I built the stone that stands upon it. I was able to fashion it to my particular curiosities. How do you build a cloud? Can you teach me? He reaches his hand down into the cloud and kind of pulls out just it kind of full uh it pulls with his hand and it's fluffy and wispy in in the same time so the visual aspect of this just it's very off-putting because it feels like he's kind of like pulling a bit of cotton candy off of a chunk but it becomes very aerodynamic very much like his beard and very much like parts of his hair and so it, it kind of is a paradox in and of itself the nature of this cloud I, I wish that time would permit me to teach you the nature of this particular grasp on uh, the arcane. How, however, I do think that if your future is not clouded, for lack of a better term, with death, then I invite the opportunity in the ever-distant future. My cloud will always remain open. But we do have some degree of uh, in expediency that must be um, approached. Uh, I, I accept graciously. Good. Now your job is to not die. Uh, please, please, feel free to come on in. I know it's a tall tower, but it's quite roomy, especially for uh, all, all of you. No. Don't, don't worry about me. From from death, I come back as well. And then I'm gonna step into his tower. Okay. Okay. So you guys start to step into his tower. Uh, his first floor is actually quite spacious, um, and that's because the Let's tower go. the tower slims out the further obviously it goes up. Separate bedrooms. And it is made well. No, it is oh. made for um, obviously a, a giant of Zephyros's uh, nature. The first floor of the tower uh, does rest atop this cloud, and the archway leads into this empty vestibule, um, at the back of which hangs this very thin, translucent blue curtain that begins to flap in the breeze. Beyond the curtain lies a 100-foot high hexagonal chamber containing a giant-sized wooden table and a stone chair. Dangling from the ce ceiling by iron chains are six crystals with uh, flames in a in like a, a sky blue color that illuminate the room um, and keep it very brightly lit in this room. Uh, the tower's second floor can be seen seen from this floor. There's a 20 foot wide hole that's in the soaring ceiling that indicates that there's more up above. Um, and he kind of walks in and sits behind a uh, he goes to sit behind his, his chair and kind of looks back at you and, um... I wouldn't want to be wooed and tower over you more than I know I'm already doing. Please, feel free to ask any questions I'm sure you have. There's much to discuss and I want to assuage your concerns before getting to the meat and potatoes of the matter. Who... Was it the, the old father who told you the prophecy? If 
you are speaking about my commune with the clouds, it very well could be that the Old Father has spoken to me through this divine channel. I do not believe that is the case. You see, the clouds, the sense of time for clouds is, it's eternal. You, while you have lived quite long, as I can see, the clouds come and go. And the clouds can tell me about things that have yet to been passed over and things that have been passed over. Though some... And you see as he begins to say this specifically with your with your group's passive perception, you all notice he begins to kind of scratch at the top of his uh, right hand with his left hand with like his nails and it's like a kind of like a keying pattern. Sometimes the clouds fail in providing accurate information. When that's done, almost immediately as it began, the movement stops and he kind of does a quick rub over. But Outside of that, the clouds are quite accurate. Wait, can I inside that? You may attempt to. Yeah, me too, hell? actually. Ha, 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 ha. I got him with this one, boys. Yeah. Two. You must have had an itch. Eleven. It's. Seems reactionary to what he was saying. You can't draw the distinction. Okay. Do the clouds prophesize any of our deaths? Well, I, I, the I clouds think aren't we'll... that specific. Um, they do you... cast <laughs> tribulations and trials before <clears throat> you. Are you saying the prophecy could be like 500 years old? Or no, I haven't considered that. I wouldn't have imagined that that span of time would have spanned before the clouds took action. But I don't find, and that's, you actually begin to see he begins to scratch at his hand again. I don't think that's outside of their capability, <clears throat> but I'm not certain. You're not gonna and, it. and instantly he, uh, oh he stops. I got 15 yeah. that time. 15. It does seem reactionary. Um, what? It, 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 it seems almost Good manic. I, I got less than 14. Same thing. It's reactionary, but you're starting to notice it seems manic. And you expect us to sacrifice our lives for a cause of... I don't ask for your <clears throat> lives to be thrown recklessly. Uh, I guess it would probably be wise to tell you a bit more about what the clouds have spoken over you. But it would be easier to show you than it would be to just tell you a tale. With that, there's a stone, a circular stone disc in the center of the room um, that begins to kind of and begin to shift around. If everyone would kindly step off of this platform, as you guys kind of all find yourself on it, and you kind of all kind of shudder a smidge as it begins to move. Um, you quickly get off and this this disc rises so this is how he ascends to the higher levels of the tower and as it gets to the roof and kind of plugs that hole that's in the ceiling uh, the clouds beneath the tower structure become very visible he begins to like a weaver like a marionette begins to weave this tail out of the clouds pulling figures pulling um, different scenery and and uh, painting this beautiful image uh, as this tale is going to continue. Long ago, during the time of creation, I hear you shudder and, and jerk. It's not a funny tale, it's very he, true. He puts on a whole, a whole <laughs> fucking musical for us, dude, to tell us the story. Not a musical, it's a theatrical display. <laughs> um, long ago, back in the time of creation, Anom, the All Father, was the god of the giants, the chief amongst us. When his children were formed, each so uniquely crafted, and at this point you start to notice very distinct individuals begin to arise from the uh, from the the clouds. One of which is a noble 
giant, massive beard, a crown across his head with a scepter in hand that is embroiled with the power of storms, the raging of thunder, um, stands tall with with armor and, and, and like ceremonial cloaks and looks stern with, with a visage that demands authority. The second that comes up is similar to um, to Zephyros. Very tall, very slim, uh, wizened and practiced in the realms of magic. You can see this one, a cloak kind of billowing around him. Uh, Sorry, her, for this figure. Billowing around her with clouds being whisked out of her hands. Um, An arrogance that kind of uplifts this air-filled head and she stands almost you've seen this exact stature just amongst even human nobles um, a regal bearing that is just rife with pride the third is a warrior and a builder all in once you see a bulky frame bulky titan in appearance this armor is spiked, it appears, to dark with a massive towering shield that stands from foot to head. An iron-clad helmet, and you can see what appears to be uh, flames that are kind of being depicted out of the clouds, um, jutting from the face like a beard, and fire flaming from the eyes, uh, a sword in hand that kind of billows with this same flame. And he stands like in this perfect pose, the stature of readiness, um, but with a stature that also carries a level of pride, like the things that he carries with him uh, are things that he has gathered, things that he has built and constructed for his personal use. The next to come up is very similar in martial authority, very similar in that warrior nature, but primal, more... um, in tune with nature, aligned with the animalistic, the shamanistic, mighty, this scold helmet cresting his head, these two massive axes that, uh, he looks like a berserker, like a, like a, like a Viking-esque warrior that towers with mixtures of chainmail and, um, and, and, like, furred cloaks. The final, um, or sorry, the final two, the, the second to last a little bit smaller than the rest of these and uh, very sturdy uh, stands with a level of respect that would be commonplace not doing the most extravagant of things yet not completely falling to maybe a level of depravity that is that can be commonplace amongst mortals nothing entirely off-putting about this particular giant other than his firmness appears as if he stands as strong as mountains and looks unshakable, looks immovable. The last of the giants, I need the four of you to make wisdom saves. Bruh. What the hell? If you have any abilities that give you advantage against frightened effects, this would be the time to use them. Do I? I don't believe so. You. That was a nine sound. Wait, what do you mean you have to see? Not the greatest. I'm just saying I got 15, but I have advantage on the big charger This is fucking elf, dude. You better than us, dude? What? Not until I use the stone curse. It's all right. Who'd you roll? Once I use the stone um, curse, have fun. What is this? What is, I can't even think of right now. Eight. No, sure. Yeah. Eight. What kind of save is this? Wisdom. Wisdom. Varys. Uh, 26. Bro. It's okay, he's an old man. Yeah. He, he sees what? a lot. You didn't have to make us all feel like that. You could have just lied and What'd put it down a few. Yeah, I've, nine. I've already said nine. I want to copy roll. I got eight. Ten. Ten. Don't scare me. Ten. 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 you Me? Ten. You know this to be an illusion, and while the, while the sight of this type of giant unsettles you due to your recent experiences with this particular kind, 
you are able to recognize that this is an illusion, this isn't the real threat of this type of giant, and are able to prevent any fear from taking over, but it does bring to mind what is going to come in before the remainder of your um, companions. In fact, with your passive wisdom, with your passive wisdom, you actually can tell that uh, this shakens your allies. They, hey, they, hey, they, hey. I don't even know all what three it is. of them appear it's, it's unsettled with the sight lays before them. I don't give a the, fuck. The most of which is misery and nephes. How can you tell I'm wrapped? Because <laughs> you're shaking. No. Shaking the I'm just cold. <laughs> right. <laughs> if only the two of you, as you look at this giant, this giant is gluttonous to say the least. It's a towering blob of flesh and meat and bone sitting upon a stone pedestal that is more befitting of of an altar for for food than it is a a throne. Anything noble about the appearance of this beast is lost in its stature, lost in its weight, and lost in its unkempt appearance of bits of food slabbering across its bulbous torso. <laughs> the two of you hear the sounds of crunches. You hear the sounds of screams. One of which is what causes you two to kind of stand still. It shouts your name. Oof. A voice you haven't... <clears throat> had the chance to hear in a bit of time. For Misery, it oh. is a mixture of <coughs> ah! Ah! Misery! Oh, <coughs> oh shit! Oh my god. For Nephis. Nephis, no! No! Get me out! Pull! <coughs> oh! <coughs> oh! I don't want to. Can I like force myself to stare at at the image and like watch it in full? I'm plug my ears, dude. You may. I look but away. shaking immediately. Too. Plug my ears. Like I just like, like even I if it's to walk away. Even <laughs> if it frightens me, I would like to consume it. Consume it. I didn't mean it like. Uh, well, yeah. Like Yo, too soon. All right, guys. Too soon. The pain feeds me. <laughs> Before the might of these giant kin stood the imposed structure by Anam the All-Father. We call it the Ordning. A massive figure stands amongst the middle of these giants. These giants are in a circle surrounding this figure. A king by all measures, a king of kings, one that demands rule over anyone he comes across. The form is a mixture of all of these kind of um, gods in, or sorry, all of these giants, kind of in its initial uh, formation. So you can see how the the different giant races kind of bear countenance to the image of uh, this particular deity, while a deity that you've never um, have seen images of or or pictures of any details in history this you can see all the giants that surround him begin to uh, bow in obeisance to this god the pride of giants the progenitor of worlds the great creator the creator by thought Nom, the what? old father. The form begins to, as you can see, begin to change into what might appear to be a more commonplace visage that the giants might recognize. While he stands, hun like r maybe roughly, like within the context of, of size comparison, you would imagine it would equate to hundreds of feet in distance, uh, and just in size, if not even taller. The hair becomes white, a large full beard um, and clad in robes of midnight blue. The clouds can change in their nature um, to kind of warp uh, around and give this, this deity a level of reverence that the remainder of the figures did not get. The ordning in our society defines a caste system 
through which a giant stands amongst his or her ilk. Traditionally, at this point, the first of the giants that I had described, the, the first like king-like, traditionally the storm giants have stood at the top of the ordning, tall and powerful. They struggle to keep the weaker races of giants from despoiling the realms of small folk and sparking conflict. The greatest of these giants are powerful seers, skilled at identifying and interpreting cosmic signs, divine omens. The aloof, and it shifts to the uh, the next one, the the female that's got that like arrogant pride to her nature. The aloof and aristocratic cloud giants, my kind, one step below the storm giants. Rarely do they condescend to deal with the lesser giants or with small folk. Extravagance defines their culture and their place in the ordning. Below them are the tyrannical and warmongering fire giants and the merciless predatory frost giants. You see the two that begin to light up are the, the two like martial, the warrior types. They have the same level? They are kind of in a similar uh, standpoint. Fire giants rank themselves by their forging skill whereas frost giants rank themselves by their martial prowess. Near the bottom of the ordning are the stone giants. Xenophobic in nature, they live underground, regarding the surface world as a realm of dreams. All things foreign, they keep quite away from them. How well they sculpt stone determines their place amongst their peers. And yet the lowest and the smallest of the true giants are the hill giants, as gluttonous as they are loathsome. And you see the, the final giant come into the picture. They are dullards who live in fear of their more powerful giant cousins. In hill giant society, the biggest, the fattest rule. We should have picked him. A series of clouds begin to rise around them, these winged serpents in a visage of dragons. For centuries, our ancient enemies have remained the dragons. Thousands of years ago, the last great empire of giants, Astoria, fell after a long and brutal conflict with dragons. The dragons begin to swirl around these giants and these plumes of, of cloud-like fire and lightning begin to kind of tear into the, the, the cloud forms of the giants. Little of Astoria remains in what you now call your savage frontier. The civilizations of small folk have taken over the land once ruled by giants. You see, uh, after all of the flame goes out, an empty space with ruins of castles begin to, in like very theatrically, begin to be settled, pioneered, rebuilt by mostly humans, dwarves, and the few bits of elves that have wandered from their forests to make new life amongst where the remainders of mortal kind go. Although evil giants make occasional forays into territory, and you see some of the frost giants and hill giants running through villages and causing havoc amongst the fray, their ambitions have long been curtailed by their lack of cohesion and the imposition of good aligned storm giants and cloud giants whose memories of ancient glorious Astoria have faded over time. You see um, the same cloud giant king that stood, or sorry, storm giant king that stood in the original depiction kind of standing above a table of his size and almost like, a, like an emperor looking across his empire, looking at different fractured components with, with a fury of, of of like an overwhelming stress, like there are things I have to do and I have to get things into order. The recent events that have gone over the past few years have made things difficult. The goddess was nearly freed from her prison. The clouds have spoken, war was waged. The tyranny of dragons was curtailed not two years ago by adventurers and heroes that the mightiest of the mortal kind could gather. This attempt by the small folk to thwart them was so successful that it upset the giant gods. Anon the Allfather, the most frustrated and disappointed of, the, of them all, 
The forms begin to reform. You see the eight figures of the giant surrounding this central god um, who grabs onto a coil, like a, like a rope or, or a set of strings that ta- attaches to all eight of them uh, in his fist, and a, and a fury-filled arm begins to tense with, with rage. The figure actually speaks. Fine. If you are going to fail me, you can have at it. And he pulls at the cord and it shatters. As it shatters, the different fragments kind of wisp and fall. And it, it creates a visible separation between these eight giants. So Anam shattered the ordning between the giants to break his children out of their complacency. Pitting the six giant types against one another while keeping some semblance of order within each type. In doing so, Alam has spurred cloud, fire, frost, stone, and hill giants to challenge the established hierarchy and to reforge their destiny. All the giants have sensed the upheaval instantly. And now the giant types fiercely compete against one another, striving to create a new ordning through their deeds and accomplishments. These giants' calamitous endeavors have not only put the settlements of humans and other small folk in jeopardy, but have also attracted the attention of the giants' ancient enemies, the dragons. The the clouds begin to form into what appears to be like a sleeping, coiled dragon, and all you see is, like, the one eye open in, like, a a dramatic flare, and you hear, like, the the massive roar and thunder of of a dragon. They will not abide the rise of another giant empire. Small folk can only speculate as to the cause of this unrest. You will be their representative. It remains to be seen whether the old ordning between the giant types will ever be restored, or whether a new hierarchy will replace the old one, knocking the storm giants from their lofty perch, or restructuring the ordning as we have known it. I have seen in my commune with the clouds that it is you. You are the ones that the clouds have spoken to me. You are destined to restore this ordinary and to bring some semblance of peace to the giant kin, lest they burn in the fires of their damnation of pride. And this peace helps the humankind how? Prevents your savage frontier from being, what is a nicer word, utterly destroyed. You don't think the giant folk would band together, realize they're more powerful than us, and take back their lands? He begins to kind of walk around the center. That is what the storm giants have known for centuries. That's why they've kept the giants under... Limited fear. The fact that giants haven't been destroying your towns for quite some time is laid evidence to that. Yet their recent restructuring and the lack of desire to follow King Hecaton's rule has proven dangerous for small folk. Attacks will rise, as happened in Nightstone. You will see more of that if we cannot fix this. So many people will at least be spared then you better put in a good word for us small folk if this all gets sorted out. He kind of leads down, I like your spirit, but the giants don't like me that much because I'm, and he kind of looks around, I'm the way I am. (laughs) But you have my word that I will speak highly on your behalf from this point moving forward. (laughs) I can, I can take you to a next destination, though I fear I need your help in defining its location. The clouds have only imparted pictures, images, and they describe, and he actually begins to form it uh, in front of you, they, des- they describe fields of metal ore, which confuses me. Meadows of gold, plains of of glittering treasure. It's not a mountain, so it can't be the many miles of mines of silver. 
uh, amongst the dwarven kingdoms, whether it be Mithril Hall or Mirabar. You can't definitely, if not for the spider infested pits of the drow wells beneath their city of Menzo Baranzen. It is not your structuring towers of cities, whether it be Waterdeep or Neverwinter. I'm quite at a loss. Could it be another giant's inhabitants? Giants have not prided themselves on the acquisition of wealth, not enough to consider fields of gold, fields of treasure, fields of ore. Um, I thought that myself. Uh, I haven't arrived at anything that would make reason of that. But it is a natural first conclusion. A dragon? I think that could be reasonable, but dragons don't tend to lay their hordes out in the open space. They're quite paranoid. What was that you said, old man? No, I thought it was dragons. Oh. Was maybe uh, super egotistical dragons. Uh, I'm as wise as a 700-year-old like elf, I guess. Don't let it get to your head. He's had enough years. He'll never let you live that down. <laughs> That the face your character makes of me too. So, you want us to go there? Well, we have to learn where there is first before we can take flight. Can I roll a history check on piles? You actually, we need an investigation check. Well, good thing I'm good at that. Nat 20, ready? Are those D? 16. <coughs> 16 plus. Uh, uh, 24. Um, the reason that you would need to look at a map in order to maybe more narrowly figure this out. Do you have a map? I might. I'm sorry that I just covered my... Do you have the numbers? The globe. I just want to make sure that it is on this particular map before I hand it to you. It is. It is on this map. So, knowing that you nice. will need a map, a map is provided of the Savage Frontier and the seas to the west of it. Do Here I, is your map. Do I have to re-roll yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. No, you don't need to re-roll. Okay. So, so, where would this, where would my 24 get me? Are those six children? Your 24 knows that you're going to need a map to figure it out. Oh. Fuck. Are those six children I thought my 24 still alive? gives the answer. Hmm? Are the six kids still alive? The, the six, what? The, the giant, six giants. The, the six giant kids. Leaders. The original ones, yeah. Like the six leaders of the giants. The six figures he showed? Or are those just representations of those sub Yeah, they're like, they're, yeah, yeah. The representations of the okay. of the giant types. Okay, I thought that they were... Uh, the only ones he's managed to by kids. name is King Hecaton. So so where are we, then? Could be history Over Night Zone. The Night Zone is towards the south of the... It's south <laughs> of Waterdeep. So if you follow the Sword Coast, you'll find Waterdeep. So actually follow the coastline. Is this Waterdeep? <laughs> when you find Waterdeep, look a little bit southeast of it, and you'll find Nightstone. It's going to be south. I'm struggling south. because... South, 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 really south, 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 bottom south. of the Sword Coast. South is this. You'll find Waterdeep. Right and then Nightstone is southeast of that. What are you looking for? Southeast. Is that Nightstone? Yeah. yeah. Nightstone. So that's where you guys are. We're deep in the forest, That's dude. where we are, Nightstone? Yeah. Yo, 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 yo. It is, is there... Any way you could yeah. replicate this image with your clouds, maybe. He does. He keeps the image open, and it's oh. just it's a it's a field of um of metals, field of ore and treasure, glittering with gold. Like not like like a very obviously very Wait. unnatural like like Pirates. What about the islands over here? The islands are not rife with plains. Oh fuck. What's the closest? The clouds are not at least deceitful with topography. Is this so? This is a plain down here, right? Yeah, any of like the light green areas would be meadows, plains, um, grasslands. Uh, the dark, or sorry, like the kind of like brownish green, is hills. The dark greens, obviously, you can see where the forests are, uh, and then the sand, you can see where the desert is. Wait, this all looks like gold. Yeah, those like the rocks. gold color stuff would be hills for the most part. Hills of gold. What the fuck? How are we supposed to figure this out? That's, That's a great this. question. I just want to flip it over. Yeah, it's I was hard to see upside down. 
It's our turn. Damn, no, I yeah. Mm -hmm. Next read yeah, fields of treasure, fields of ore, glittering with treasure and gold. A layer. When a layer. the giants attack the towns here, do they come down blind. and steal? That is a great question. Uh, it appears to me as if the cloud giants that followed the destruction of Nightstone did indeed depart from their fortress to walk the grounds. For what? I have no idea. I've been long exiled from my kind. They don't like my eccentricities. Would it be goblins? No, hardly. They're not amongst the giants enough to be of concern. In fact, they do some tend to worship the hill giants out of fear. Them and the ogre can. You don't think that <clears throat> that's stuff from the half orcs from earlier, do you? I don't believe so. I, I mean, I don't know. I'm not seeing it's the connection. Actual bottles of gold. It could be like four is it silver it marshes. Figurative? Or... Is it figurative? Hmm. Could be figurative. For what I have been able to rely on. The topography that the clouds display have never been metaphorical. So the fields are true. How? Oh. Can I roll a investigation check to into the pile of, well, look, of goodies to, for any insignia or something somewhere. that might give me a better idea of there's what's going like on here? The, the treasures are not necessarily depicted with anything, so are there any symbols? I will give you, I will allow you to make an investigation check, but it would be, uh, it is at a difficult DC. Okay. I'm rolling my good D20. Okay. That's not a 1, that's a 13, <laughs> motherfucker. Plus 8, so an unnatural 20. He's lying. Well, wait, actually you're 21, because math is hard. Oh. Wait, were there mines right here? Can you read that? Where? Natural 20. Un uh, 21. Right here? No, I think it's there. Right here. Where are you? You can you have reason to believe that if if That's what true. if what uh, Zephyro says is true that the topography that the clouds depict in their communions are never wrong, it should absolutely then narrow out the islands, the tundras, the deserts, the forests, is this and the mountains. So what about the silver marshes? Have you heard anything about that? That's wetlands, swampy. Mm. I could imagine the hill giants running amok amongst the sludge, but... Um... Oh, so we're looking for hill giants. What about stars? Well, I don't know necessarily if what we're searching for is hill giants. I'm trying to connect. I'm trying to connect where it's to settle. What about star meadow... Star meadow hills? Hmm. Fortunately, I am just a loss as you are. I will. Um, Is there an expert we can talk to? The clouds. I will commune with them. <laughs> just keep at it, and if you are able to ascertain what you believe to be true, then I just look to the clouds. And he goes and. He actually prostrates himself on his knees, kind of in a like a like a meditative stance, uh, to get in front of this uh, pit of of clouds and begins to cast contact other plane, and he is going to attempt to commune with, with clouds. Hey, I'm not judging the guy, but he keeps talking to these fucking clouds. He's high as a kite. <laughs> He's nuts. <laughs> Alright, I am now here, uh, no, as Zephyrios is communing with the clouds, I am here as your, this is a puzzle, and I am trying to make you solve it. So, I'm here now as your puzzle guide, I'm going to try to work with you as a DM, without giving you the answer. So, feel free, feel free to run options off of me, I'm going to do my best to push you in the right direction. Can you give me, like, the rundown again? Yes, so... The image that lays before you, uh, that it was communed previously with the clouds, is a, is a field of ore, 
Uh, it is meadows of treasure that are filled with glittering treasures of gold. Due to the fact that Zephyros has explained the topography, so the landscape of the clouds have never been up for debate, they tend to be pretty consistent, that it can rule out the islands, it can rule out pretty much probably the coastline because we're not dealing with with seas, the mountains, the yeah. forests, the deserts, and the tundras. That's everything. Yes, exactly. That is a lot of the map narrowed down. So we're looking for nowhere. <coughs> it's another plane. <coughs> God damn. It's the clouds. <laughs> Quick, push Poultra in. If he falls to his death, it, it was never meant to be. <laughs> That's darn it. Of course right, the isn't? clouds know about them. Make sure you They're count how long it takes me to hit the bottom. I can't even read. So we're just looking for, like, planes, then? It's a great question. Something that can tie together that... <laughs> say say yeah, that clue again. Yeah, so it's, it's, a, it's, like it's fields of ore, meadows of treasure that are glittering, treasures of gold. Can I look at that when you're done, Nick? Fields of My intelligence ore. is only so high. <laughs> Listen, my meadows mind. of treasure, treasure of glittering gold. When you're doing, I want to I like to see that. For anyone watching, if you are a fellow dungeon master or a fellow player, this is my tip on how to try to introduce puzzles to test to see if your players are, we, are we thinking riddle hard? themed. No, I think I don't think you guys are thinking is too it, hard. It no, gold? it's just if these become struggle bus encounters, it's probably not should not field, introduce is it? them. Like as much. golden fields feels way too straightforward. But be helpful if you want to see golden fields. Don't cut them. Where? It's right, right, it's just south of where we are right now. Yep. Golden Fields. Yeah, Gold. there's, a, there's a town yeah. named Golden Fields. No mountains, no deserts, no land. It says Golden Fields. No land. <laughs> he said. You're no help. No island, no ocean, no mountains, no deserts, no nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no earth. It's not on Torwheel. It's in space. <laughs> Did it? Cross out mountains too? Yes. Uh, I don't think it's going to be very far from where we are right now. Dreams. What's Evermores? Is that like. The Evermores? It's a region. Wait. But if that's. I'm... Can it be in dreams? The hill giants are in the realm of dreams. You're getting Everyone dreams of treasure. Metaphorical again! God damn it. It's not helpful. Well, you just, you you told just, me that yeah. um, the Evermores is a region of the Savage Frontier that is a mixture of uh, bogs, um, whoa, whoa, whoa. Can I get that hills, rundown? hills, and trucks. Can I get that rundown for, for Golden Fields? What's Golden Fields like? Golden Fields is a town. It's a town. Yeah, it's a town. What, what, about, what about Silvery Moon? Silvery Moon Gold is a small enclave of wait, wizards. Wait, 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 a what? Small enclave of wizards. They're part of the Lords Alliance. Wow. Yeah, their current delegate is Lord Tarn Thunderspells. Oh, okay, it's a plane. Thunderspells. Can you read the thing one more time? Yes, it is fields of ore, meadows of glittering treasure, treasures glittering with gold. So that must be Star Meadow Metal Hills. I feel like it's naming off different areas, to like in a general area. You said there's a place named Star Metal Hills. Mm -hmm. That sounds pretty much spot on. Continue with what you're saying. That was it. I'll allow you guys to make an investigation check. <laughs> now that we have metal. a few options, it will help us process the mechanical component of narrowing this down. I got uh, the stars are glittering. Investigation, where is it? I got an 18 flat. There's 18 somewhere flat. with a more compelling name. I got a 12. 12. History. We'll wait for Nephis. Um Memphis. Nephis. <laughs> Memphis. Uh, no, it would be investigation, but I would ask of you to roll. Yeah. Nephis would be a chance for investigation. Roll. How far away is Star? Well, well, well. Are you smarter 17? than a fifth grader? Plus eight. So a 25. 25. You succeed. Jesus. Wait, 18 oh, don't succeed. No, this is considered Thanks. very difficult. Sorry, uh, just try getting 20. intelligent. 20. Uh, you don't succeed. Nephis, as they're coming up, they've actually been discussing a few options in your in your absence. Um, 20 20 
That's not high enough. They came up with two options as of yet. The first is Star Metal Valley. Um, the second is the town of Golden Fields. You have reason to believe now, pondering over the the poem uh, or the riddle per se, the the prophecy, the omen, that it is speaking metaphorically. And the only link to this that you can get is that it opens with fields and ends with gold. Fields of gold, otherwise known as golden fields. Let's go. That would be the strongest indication that the that the this one was pretty small divination. Uh, begs of you to go to the town of Golden Fields. Madonna uh, would have been happy, bro. Let's yeah, Madonna would have been so happy that fucking Nephis found the answer. You're welcome, guys, that I came in and rolled the 25. Well done. Did you yeah, suggest that, though? Golden Fields? You didn't no, but I, just, I mean, it's, it's, what I thought, dude. It's, it's the closest one, dude. Like, so Nephis takes just a moment to explain the words that I just said. Um, yes. And you've now been revealed with that well information. You're now all a little smarter. You sound like the You're welcome. The what? What? The what? Nothing. No, nothing. Those thunderbolts, though. What? Not again. (laughs) Ah, so will you. At the current moment, Zephyros is still communing with the clouds. You're not sure how long this is going to take. He stands still in this process. Can I look at while well, he's, well, he's busy, real quick? Can I look at where he was scratching his hands? Is it it's on it's on the back of his right uh, hand, and it it looks scratched at, not injured. So it looks like it's kind of irritated the skin, but not. It's not like cracked. And, and <laughs> put some ointment on his skin. <laughs> yeah, is it cracking? No, it's just irritated. What do you taps do you really have? Rub it on. No, 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 no. no. Wax on, wax on. <laughs> it's okay, no. Woody. So we're destined to go to Golden Fields then. Yeah. Oh, we gotta wake this big guy up though. I'm gonna message him with my finger. Don't do it. I'm gonna back up. And I'm gonna say. No one is committing the clouds. We break his trades. And you're gonna we piss figured off the it guys. out. You do that while he's communing with the clouds? Yes. Don't do it, do it. I don't know. Oh, it's oh, like waking someone up while different. they're dreaming. As you cast the message spell, the cantrip, and attempt to uh, telepathically speak with Zephyros, your consciousness, for just a moment, connects with his. What? He is contacting a demon. another plane. Can I stay in his head? Oh no! Experience this. Oh no! <laughs> He's contacting another plane, and your the 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 brief the brief introduction you get into his consciousness Whoa. is met with an overwhelming uh, sensation of awe and fear, as it appears this mighty being that Zephyrios has mentioned only briefly, this great Anam, the All Father, uh, a divine source that you can tell to be the this essence, a divine essence, an essence of a god. The reason that confirms that is because this nature speaks to you as it, as it forcibly, <laughs> forcibly propels you out of Zephyros' mind. Get off my lawn. <clears throat> Stay away from my children, you ungrateful whelp. With the contact severed, I need you to make a strength saving throw for me. Damn. Okay, you, you need a minus one. You meant giant. Well, uh, what does a one do for a minus one? How does a zero sound? <laughs> you, uh, first you, zero ever roll, baby. You, you, you watch as as he reaches out to Dude, that's terrible. contact. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, you see as he reaches out to contact um, Zephyrus with this message, and almost immediately you watch his hand lock with pain. You actually you can you can't see <clears throat> Nephis's face. It's all completely covered, but you can see the body like contort as if the arm is in pain and he grabs at the wrist and he howls. He howls a pain of agony that you are, you actually don't, you don't, you won't remember. You won't remember this because it happens outside of the consciousness that you're experiencing. And there is a quick, there is a sound of a, and a puff of wind forces Nephis flying into the wall. Uh, You take, six points of bludgeoning damage oh, and the wall cracks underneath you in the area that you are impacted into and as you stumble out onto it you kind of 
struggle for a second. You're, you're kind of wavering in your stance after being thrown into a wall. Um, your senses kind of come back to you and you feel the pain uh, erupted across your body, um, especially across your back, a soreness that now is present uh, and a mental anguish um, for what you just experienced. Can I go to the system up? Yeah, uh, you can kind of help him. Uh, he's able to step out of the of the indentation he has now left into the wall. There is a nephesized dent in the wall. Can I mend the wall back together? You absolutely can. You put your hand up against the wall as you depart from it, mending the stone structure, resealing it behind you. Can I mend my arm back together? <laughs> your arm's not broken, so that's not a problem. Uh, you're, you're, you're very much intact. You're just sore from being propelled into a stone wall. You only took six points of damage, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna screw you over that bad. I wanna help you up and see. You gotta be careful with those clouds, man. And then I'm gonna cast Cure Wounds. Okay. Did that the soreness up? will go away as he heals you. Is Zephyros back now? Zephyros is not back. <laughs> How much HP do I have? Still communing? Yeah, he's still communing. How much did you lose? Six. Okay. If I use the tech um, dots, would that be the same thing that probably. I'll go through with him? It's a five. I don't want to try. So you, get, you go back up to four. You guys don't even really know. You guys don't even really know what I did. I just yeah. pointed at him. Because I don't look around. Because yeah, he's, he's got, got, I mean, you have to get up to his, you have to get up to his uh, desk. But there's books on his desk. Is his desk huge? Yes, it is. It is fit for his size. Are those books huge? huge? Uh, they would be fit for his size. So it'd be like, like this big, just like that. You'd be walking across them. The oh pages. what? Really? He's a giant. I'll climb up to his desk. And just see okay. what kind of books uh, he has. I will allow you to make either an acrobatics at disadvantage or an athletics with no imposition. Mm. Misery, you might regret this. Did you not see what just happened to me? when I tried meddling with his affair. You pointed at that guy and you blew your bandage. Oh no! Damn, at disadvantage, that's, that's a rip. Like the, the oh, actually, father. can I use inspiration when you say that, dice? I'm gonna point, you may. I'm gonna point at Zephyros. I'm gonna, I'm just pointing at him. I'm just, I'm just, just pointing a finger at him. It's I, not polite. Nothing's happening! Oh shoot, my water bottle. Thank you, dude. Yep. I'm, um, gonna, I'm gonna look right. at you and I say, I can't get there, can I? What, what did you do? Alex, like I it. would say after about five minutes of struggling, you can. Whoa. Okay. It's just more of a matter of time. I'm gonna say What does this book cover say? Uh, the book's actually open, and it, it appears to be more like a journal. He's, he's um, documenting uh, what appears to be his visions, his dreams, his right. thoughts. I'm not able the, to the read it. Commune. Not all of it. It's actually sporadic in languages, and that's that's what makes it kind of difficult to narrow down. What languages do you know in full? Uh, he's old, dude. I think I just only know common. If I was alive for Well, you know common and infernal, infernal nine for sure. Can I cast too. comprehend languages on other people? No, I don't think so. You'd have to check if it has a target. But I want to have, have a conversation. I, I want to say something to them, too, while sure. he's doing this. Um, Dear, you can keep going. I'll so you do know the segments that are written in common, and they are, they are very scarce. What you, what you are able to read in common is, let me actually look up the notes, tell you, yeah. so um, what you can read is Countess Sansuri. How do you spell that? So, Countess. Count S. E S S. And then, uh. Sansuri is S A N S U R I. Countess Sansuri. Okay. Looking. Jesus. Uh, I don't think I should even write this down. There's nothing there. Okay. For Astoria. How do you spell that? O S T O R I A. Okay. This is fair. And then a question next to it. Potential connection with dragons? This is here, there, and elsewhere. 
The other one that reads past that a, is uh, Moran and Nim. Yeah. So M I R R A N, Moran. Yeah, it's like the, the new one. And Nim, N Y M. Covet's Power. C O V E T S. Jealous. Of Sarissa. S E R I S S A. There was a question next to that. Okay. Potential infighting hmm. amongst the princesses? Question mark. <laughs> The last thing that you read, and you let me know when you're ready. Let's get up here reading. What I can 